Okay, so I'm going to go to MATLAB, and we're just going to uh, work with our our uh, first equation, which was just the first order uh, first order linear system. And I'm going to write a equals what was it again? It was negative uh, one over tau, right? Okay, so I'm going to first of all define my tau equals five, and then uh, a equals negative. Is it negative one over tau? Yes. Okay, and then b is equal to, okay, so let's define our k of 2, and then b equals uh, k divided by tau, c equals 1, and d equals 0. Okay, so now I'm going to get a, a new system, which is state space. I'm just going to put my a, b, c, d matrices there. Okay, so now I have my state space model, okay, with my a, b, c, d's. Now, if I look over here, at system, I have a new variable which is system. If I double click this, it'll bring up an explorer to show me all of the properties associated with this variable. So I have A, B, C, D, and then it has time unit, seconds, you know, it has <laughs> all these other things. If I want to change time unit to minutes, I'll do sys time, and I can do tab complete equals minutes. Okay, so I've just changed my state space model. And then if I double click, I can see that that's now minutes there. Okay, so it's a structure. It isn't just a, a variable. Now I want to be able to step this. Okay, I want to step my system. And then it'll bring up a plot to show me a step response. What do you guys expect that this will look like? What's the gain? Two. It's equal to 2. What's the time constant? It's 5. Okay, so let's see if this looks right. Is that about right? Okay, gain of 2, time constant of 5. That is awesome. Okay, so uh, let me go hold on. So I'm going to hold on to that. Okay, now I'm going to go hold on to that plot. Okay, hold on to the plot. Don't don't. Uh, if I plot something else, it won't get rid of the plot. Okay, so I'm going to plot over that. Okay, so now I'm going to convert to a discrete, continuous to discrete, and I'm going to do a sampling time of one second. Okay, so there's my discrete model. So I have a, a b. C and D, and then I'm also going to step my sys D, okay, and then let me open up the uh, plot, and there you can see every second it exactly equals that other one. Now, I say, well, I don't, I don't know, I'm not really comfortable working in state space. I want to work in the Laplace domain instead. So let me come back here. Um, so I'll do S sys L, okay, I'm going to do transfer function of sys. Okay, so there I have my transfer function. No. Yes, I know, this is just unbelievable, isn't it? <laughs> so, okay, so there, there's, my, there's my transfer function. Now I say, you know what, I really do, I want to work with this in uh, Simulink <laughs> instead. Okay, so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to, uh, you know, work with this model in Simulink. Let me go ahead and open up... Uh, this is something we actually just ran through yesterday in our our group meeting. Okay, so now I have this same uh, this same model. A little bit uh, is that the same model? No, that's different. No, it, should be two and it should be yeah, that's right. It should be. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and simulate this, and then you can do the same thing in uh, in Simulink. Okay, this one had a, a different gain. Um, let me open up this one. But I was just doing a, a simple cruise control application for an automobile that's described by a first order uh, linear model like the one that we just derived. Okay, so you can work with these things in continuous form. You can work with them in discrete form. You can work with them in Laplace form um, in MATLAB.